What if you're an authorized user and the main principal, ah, main principal holder, account holder is late or doesn't pay? This is something we see on a regular basis. In fact, I saw it today. Guy had a business partner. Business partner put him on his American Express Platinum card. American Express reported uh, the, the original partner, the signer, not the authorized user, but the signer paid late. Reported on my client's credit report. We're going to get it removed. They don't remove it. We got a law firm. They file a lawsuit. They sue them. And the client gets a couple thousand dollars. The attorneys get a couple thousand dollars and he gets removed from the credit. So if you're an authorized user, almost 100% of the time, it would be illegal for that bank to report you late. Now I say almost 100% of the time because technically if the bank is keeping track of the transactions that you make, on the credit card that you have, you're technically responsible for those charges. However, I've only seen one bank that does this. And that, of course, is Capital One. Other than Capital One, I've never seen them. I'm not saying they don't do it. I just personally haven't seen it where they issue different credit cards for the authorized users. Usually it's the exact same credit card, same numbers. So generally speaking, it is illegal for them to report you late if you're an authorized user. If you do have authorized user lates on your credit, please let me know because I have a whole team of attorneys that would love to help you clean up your credit based on those late payments from the authorized user accounts. So please let me know if you do have lates from authorized user accounts.